Come. Where are my credentials? Woman, I have told you. I have warned you. I'm not ready for your hysterics this morning. Kelvin, what is wrong with you? I am a graduate for God's sake. You must hear it. Did my mother train me to school just to be a wife that has nothing to do? Did I go to school for all these years just to be your wife? Your housewife, Kelvin? Give me back my credentials! Give me a child. Woman, a child. When you have one, then you have a lot of work to do. Without giving me money. Caroline, please, not this morning. Money for what again? What do you mean not this morning? Money for antenatal, of course. What else? I don't have money for, for a private hospital. Go to, go to a general hospital now. Oh, okay. They told you it's free at the general hospital, Abby. No, they told you that it's free at the general hospital, eh? What is your problem? What, 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 what do you want? Come to the general hospital and give blood. They have made it very clear that our husband needs to come and donate blood in case we need uh, blood for transition during pregnancy or, or childbirth. You refuse to come. Come and donate blood, no. Give me money for private hospital, no. What do you want from me? Look, me, Philip, I am not going to any hospital to donate any blood. I will not do that. And I don't have money to give you to go and waste in a private hospital. My mother did not go and do until after when she was pregnant for my siblings and I. So don't even stress me. Just manage yourself. I should... Um, come in, the, the door is open. Hi. Uh, yeah? Like, what is wrong? You shouldn't be shedding tears at, in this condition, you know? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Philip has refused to come to the general hospital to donate blood. He has refused to give me money for Antinata. What am I supposed to do? Why would Philip do this? I'm so sorry. I know how it must feel being pregnant and not receiving the kind of care you deserve. How much is it to register at a private hospital? I have no idea. But at least I should be able to go in like 2009 because all these private hospitals in this country are expensive. Kelvin has refused to pay me back the money I lent him. Refused for me to get a job. I don't have much cash on me now, but I will try. I'll try and know what I can do about this. No, 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 it's okay, Rocky. It's okay, listen. I... It's okay, honestly. I mean, 
It's not your fault that you can't help me at this time. I've known you long enough to know that you can never see a friend in this condition and do nothing. Sorry. It's okay. So, how are the girls? They're fine. They, they went to school. Okay. So I came to give my lady a full promise. Ah, oh, sister in Christ. I knew it. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. You have me. Oh. Hi. And um, where are you dressing up to go? Um, I'm going for a job interview. And when were you planning to tell me about it? Wait, Lydia, what do you need a job for? What do you ever need that I don't provide? Listen, I don't want to get physical with you today. So, get up. Go make my breakfast. Declan, what is it? What do you want from me? What? I've given you five beautiful kids. Five! Don't you think it's just hard time I get back myself? I can see how short your gown is from your sitting position. Is that how you want to go for a job interview? I have told you times and times again that my wife will never work for anyone. Do you understand that? Now, this discussion is over. Get up, go make my breakfast. So, you won't believe what Philip was telling me the other day when I saw him at the club. Mm. So, Carol is pregnant. Wow. And Philip has refused to give her money to go for antenatal clinic. Wow. Each time Lydia is pregnant, I give her a lot of money to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. Because I know that pregnancy is not an easy task. Sure. And she is a housewife. He should take care of her. He should. He should. Even though Lydia is never satisfied, she's always bothering me that she wants to get a job. <laughs> the same thing with Rookie. <laughs> she hasn't even given me as much as a miscarriage and she's pestering my life that she wants to open her chambers. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, don't I you... seized her credentials. Let me see how she'll start up a law firm and start working. You know, you know those women are crazy. They just crazy. think that they can walk our heads. Crazy. Yeah, my mother told me that um, even though she was educated, she never got a job. She spent mm. all her time at home taking care of me and my siblings. But this um, feminist on social media have gotten into their heads and are making them think that um, they understand. can go against us. I understand. Well, even though I don't agree with Philip, do. Yeah. Do antenatal. Come on. It's something he's supposed to do. Yeah. I totally do not agree with Philip. He should give her money to take care of us. After all, she's a housewife. Yeah. This guy. All right, girl. It is well. So, um, what is it going to be tomorrow? Are we still seeing at the club? Mm, ah, I don't know. But let's see how it goes. All right, let's see how it goes. No problem. Hey! <laughs> My day was crazy. Mm, tell me. Oh God! The only thing that sort sorted me when I when I got back home was mm. the pando. And that banger soup you made with fresh fish. You had that soup? Oh my god, it's out of this world. <laughs> thank you, thank you, my love. Ah, uh, gosh. Well, I feel better now. Uh, my day was good too. I um, I was able to meet up with the with the interview, and so far, it's looking like it. I think I'm going to have the job. <laughs> Wait. Let me, let me, let me, let me get this straight. 
And so you still went for the job interview after I told you not. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So did you attend Yvonne's wedding? Um, no, I'm still recovering from the beating my husband gave me. Your husband laid his hands on you? Because I went for a job interview. Why is that? He doesn't want you to work? You have five kids for him already. Five! <sighs> Rookie, for when I get the job, I won't be starting. And why is that? If you see any opportunity to be independent, do it for yourself, Ellie. I'm pregnant. You see? So after working for a few months, I start asking for maternal leave. That's wrong. Why? Why? Why would you get pregnant again? You had five kids to see us. And the doctor warned you. So why? What happened to family planning? What did I do? He doesn't want it. He said it's a sin. What do you, what do you want me to do? Terminate it. Oh. It is medically advisable. Terminate it. Ruki. He does not want family planning. How would he accept a portion? A portion? He doesn't have to know. My friend, you have to think about yourself first. He doesn't have to know. I'm pregnant. So I do not want this. You're out of your mind. I do not want it. You out of your mind. So I have five kids for you. Five kids. This is not good. It's not good for my health. Please. Do that, Lydia, and this marriage is over. Children are a gift from God. And look at you. Spitting rubbish. If your mother had a boat, you, would you be here? Oh, fine, sweet. I do not support abortion. But please, this is medically okay. Please. Nobody should confuse you and tell you that it is medically okay to abort a child. Alright? If you do this, this marriage is over. And listen, Lydia. If I look for my child, if I look for my child, my blood. You won't see it coming. Is I beg you, God?
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or oh, wherever my husband is, oh God, I protect him, oh God. I protect him from every spirit of death, every evil woman, wherever he is, every friend out of his life, wherever he's trying to destroy my marriage from with him, oh God. I command, let that person be destroyed in the name of Jesus, oh God. Bless my husband. Bless him, oh God. Do a miracle, which only you can do. I protect myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover myself, I cover my marriage, there will be no separation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love I have between you! Selena, please promise me you'll keep this baby. How? How can I keep this baby? Eh? You have a house, you have a wife, you have everything. I cannot hurt my baby now. This baby is going to need a father. A house. You don't have any of it to offer me. I have to remove it now. Oh, please. I no. have to. Please. Eh? Promise me you won't terminate this pregnancy. Please. I, I'm a desperate man. Begging you, my love. Please. I'll leave it. But promise me. Promise me that any time, whenever I need you, you're going to be there for me. It's in fact, you're going to be my number one priority. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, that's true. Um, Mr. Philip, you need to sign some consent papers so that we can operate on your wife. Operate? Why operate? The ultrasound showed them. Um, no fetal heartbeat and your wife is weak so we need to operate to be able to save her life my problem with you is that you are too 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 expensive yeah, but it, it, it's okay i don't have a choice now if you give birth to another girl it's okay Your wife was bleeding when you brought her in. And I must ask, which hospital did she register for her antenatal clinic? Um, uh, <laughs> because this problem should have been seen before now. She wouldn't have lost this boy. Doctor, did you say boy? Yes. Oh my goodness. She never went for any antenatal. Doesn't she know the importance of antenatal clinic? Because the scan would have shown that the cord was wrapped around the baby's neck and the doctor would have booked her for his years. Besides, she was long overdue. I wanted her to give birth the traditional way. My mom never went for any antenatal and she was fine. Mr. Philip, this is the 21st century. A lot of those women died during childbirth because there was nothing we could have done to save them then. Please, in future, do not let your wife die out of your ignorance. So can I see her? I mean my wife. She's not doing so good. She's devastated by the careless loss of her son. She will need a therapist to help her out. A therapist? Yes. Uh, I don't have money for a therapist. That, that's expensive. We are talking about your wife's mental health. You have to help her. Can I, can I at least see her? Yeah. Okay. She's in the recovery ward. You can see her now. Nice. I hope he's happy now. <sighs> he totally ignored his wife. Totally ignored his wife. She was never happy for once in that marriage. It this come on. <sighs> I I hope he's happy now. How could he ignore his pregnant wife? Left her alone. Gave her no money. No penny to even take care of herself. That man is heartless. 
Do you know she doesn't even want to see him? Demo just forced himself into the world. Before I could say Jack, <laughs> he told me she is my wife. I married her. Can you imagine? So, if they are talking about men, he will come and stand in front of them. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine. Oh, Bookie, please, I need to get home. I need to go see my husband. You just, um, go for a fire. I'll be back in a minute. Bye. 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 I don't know. Yeah, so hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 that won't be a problem. It, it's settled. Hmm? Hi, baby. Oh, hey. Come here. Mm. <laughs> good, I'm, so I'm so sorry about that. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm sorry, I, I had to pass the night with Carol. Carol was a mess last night. Oh my goodness, how is she faring? <sighs> well, well, what can I say? She's fine. She's just getting better. She's emotionally traumatized. Oh. She will pull through anyways. I'm thinking it was a boy they were actually looking for. Are you serious? I warned Philip. I told him never ignore your pregnant wife. Hmm? But he refused to listen. Now see how he lost, he lost a child carelessly? <sighs> Well, when are you starting your own antenatal? Mm -hmm. Come on, you need to take care of yourself. You know, it's very important. See, please. Hey. Oh, please, you should just see me. Abortion is a sin, all right? An antenatal is very important. See, please, not when it's necessary medically to, to, to do so. Please. Are you going to do what I tell see, you? See, I said no when it's necessary you medically, you're okay to do so. You will go for that antenatal. And that's fine. You hear me? I don't understand you. Are you going to do what I tell you to do, or you will do what someone else says you should do? Hey, baby. Welcome. I don't know. Baby! Baby! Honey, what is wrong? What have I done to upset you? What are you upset with me about? Don't even play innocent with me. Give me a child and everything will be alright. I am not the giver of children. And it is not my fault that we don't have children. And whose fault is it? Mine? You know, for the numerous abortions you had. We won't be having this conversation, would we? You should have listened when I was advised not to marry you. But no, I didn't. Kevin! How dare you? How do you say that to me? You've lost your mind! Hey. Hi. Look up. Um, I'm sorry I said those words to you. I didn't mean to remind you of your past. Oh yes, you did. But you've been holding this for too long. That you had to remind me as if I could forget such a traumatic event in my life. I shared this in confidence with you. Oh, 
thank you so much for reminding me of how, of how I was brutally raped. Thank you. Now I know you can share everything with a man. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You're not. You're pitying me because you have opened all the wounds I've been trying to forget. So save your sorry. I don't need it. Baby, why are you not sleeping? Sweetie, how can I sleep? I am pregnant and worried about it. Baby, come on now. You should not be worried about this pregnancy. Children are supposed to bring joy. Alright? I am not sad. I am... I am just worried and scared. I, I do not want to have another baby. Have this baby, all right? And you will never have to be pregnant again. And whatever business you want to do, I will support you emotionally and financially. I agree that I want a large family. But then when you have this baby, okay, <laughs> so that's large enough. Hmm? I love you more, Dick. Thank you. Your words has given me stress. I'm fine. Would you remain like this? How long would you continue like this? Huh? You need to try to recover quickly, regain your strength so that you can give me another male child. Especially now that God has opened the windows of heaven and started pouring male children at us. Hmm? Come on now, baby. Philip, you are pathetic. Philip, you are pathetic. God, how can you be so selfish? I almost lost my life while trying to birth you a child, and you're over here talking about I have to give you a boy? Really? Listen, I don't know about you, but me, I'm done having kids. If you can't love the girls that I've given to you, then go to hell! You will not speak to me like that, Caroline. Do you understand me, Caroline? You will not speak to me like that. I am still your husband, no matter what. I married you! Caroline, Carol, I am talking to you. I am the one that married you. Hey, hey. I married you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I married you, and you didn't marry me. So because you married me, I shouldn't have a life of my own? Is that what you're saying? No, answer that question. Do you even listen to yourself talk? Despite everything that the doctor said, I just had a CS months ago. Like, how can you be so selfish? You're over here talking to me about taking and giving you a male child. Do you even care if I'm physically or emotionally ready to have another baby? I just lost a whole baby. No, you should have lost half of a baby. I don't care what you have lost. My mother lost, she gave birth to five of us, five boys. So you will get pregnant and give me a male child when I want. I have just had about enough of you ranting about your mother having 60, 10 children. If you want more kids or a boy, why don't you go and meet your mother? No, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Yeah, but 
Hi, sweetie. Oh, mommy. Oh, did you sleep good, mama? Carol, why the long face? <sighs> hmm. Lydia, Rocky, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of everything. I just don't want to say I'm tired of life because of my kids, but I'm tired. Philip, Philip has driven me to hell and back. What's that? Why? Does he want you dead? What? Carol just got back from the hospital a few months ago. You're not even healed physically and, and psychologically. What is this? Listen, your husband should stop already. He should stop. You know what's painful? It's, 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 it's painful because I'm, me, I'm good. I can take it. But he does it in front of my kids. He beats you in front of your kids? Does he know the kind of psychological problems he's creating for them? Seriously, I need to put my education to use right now. I wish I was practicing. Ah, I will take pro bono for this kind of cases. This is bad. I hope these kids don't turn out being tra traumatized and hating men. This is not good at all. Carol, listen, you don't need to take this. You do not need to keep quiet. My husband misbehaves, but he has never laid a finger on me before. Ever. He has never done that. So why would your husband continue to beat you? This age and time, we should not encourage domestic violence. We should be able to say, says, we should be able to know when it's enough and say it's enough. Please. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? If I speak up, where do I go? Philip is the only family member that I have. You have to find a way and empower yourself to, so you don't end up being at his mercy. Do you want him to kill you? And when he does that, what about your kids? Do you need to get back your life? Take control now and get back your life. Kelvin, en enough. Enough of this already, Kelvin. How am I going to get pregnant if, if you don't try touching me? We haven't made love in the past six months. Touch me! Oh, don't give me that. You ain't been with me for the past six months. What have you been doing for five years? I've been with you for five years and, and, and nothing happened. But I was with another lady for just one month. And now she's pregnant for me. What? Yes. A lady has been able to do in one month what you've not been able to do in five years. Kevin, if you're saying this, just to make me sad, stop it. Because you're really hurting me, you know. 
So come on. There's no need to sugarcoat anything. Okay? She's pregnant for me. I'm going to rent an apartment for her. Because I want to be in her life and that of the child. Because I don't want any issues with you. understand mom I'm not more a child is it about the baby is it about the pregnancy I heard you begging daddy almost every day to allow you remove the child why that abortion is not the right thing to do it's wrong it is Does that mean you're going to die? <laughs> Go and stop it! I am not going to die. I will leave you and your siblings. I am here for you people, okay? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to die. Mommy is here for you and your siblings, okay? Mommy will have your sister, and Mommy will stay for all of you. You don't need to worry. <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. You are? Don't be scared, okay? Mommy will be fine. Alright. Right. I need to go and rest inside now. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, oh no. Where my slippers? Thank you. <laughs> That's my girl, thank you.
Um, is it that long? Your wife is being prepped for an emergency CS. We need to operate on her immediately. An emergency CS? Yeah. But she's not due for delivery yet. And that is why I called it an emergency CS. She's having an internal bleeding. It's not up to one year she had your fifth child through caesarean section. She was warned not to get pregnant again. Why did you allow her to keep it? Why? Well, she'll be all right. Well, we'll do our best. We have the best surgeons on call, so. We'll do our best. Just that you need to sign some consent forms quick before they can start. Where should I sign? Okay. Rookie, you haven't said anything after I told you a lady's carrying my baby. I'm talking to you. Look, I'm not going to have your silent treatment on this one. Come on, Rookie. Say something. Get angry. Hit me. I, I, I cheated on you. I got another woman pregnant. Don't just act as if nothing happened. Lydia is dead. Hi, Carol. Hi, where, where are you? I'm here. My husband couldn't come. He traveled out. All right, then. Pretending as if you loved her when you killed her. I heard mommy telling you she wanted to terminate the pregnancy. But what did you do? You said in your own words that if she terminated the pregnancy, the marriage is over. How long will you keep mourning her? One month? Six months? Before you bring in another woman that will come to maltreat me and my siblings? She gave her love for you. She did everything you said. But what did you give her in return? Death. I will never forgive you for my mother's death. You made me motherless. So I will never forgive you. How dare you talk to me like that? Hey! 
Don't talk to me like that. How dare you? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to beat her? For telling you the truth? How dare you? You killed your wife. You should walk around and know that you killed your wife. You should be on your conscience every day, every time that you murdered your wife. If she had listened to me, I wouldn't be mourning her now. Because I told her to terminate the pregnancy. You should learn your lesson. Learn your lesson! Let's go, darling. Rubbish. Rookie. Rookie, are you not the one I'm talking to? Huh? Whatever it is is going on in that mind of yours. I really want to know. Are you planning to kill me or are you planning to divorce me? Look, if it's divorce you want, I will gladly give it to you because I'm tired of this silent treatment. Huh? Is it my fault that another woman did what she failed to do? Look, I am the only son of my parents. Do you want my family lineage to close? Huh? Whatever it is you are planning to do to me in that your mind, it will not work. It will not work. In Jesus' name. You. What's up? Why did you change your face? Kevin, I'm not happy. I have not been able to live up to my responsibility as your wife. What are you on about? I hope it's not about this child thing again. Look. I didn't get married to you only for you to just have children for me. This marriage is just two years old. When the time is right for us to have our own child, we will. Right? I love you, Ruki. And until then, I promise to stand by you and love you unconditionally. Okay? Which is why I said you shouldn't practice for now. Kevin, in my next life, you're coming back as my husband. Ah. <laughs> I love you, I love so, you much. so much. I love you too, baby. So much. What happened to all the love and promise and what? Kevin. Kevin, how can you betray me? How can you break me into Where is she? <clears throat> well, um, you must know. She's carrying my child, and I thought it wise to introduce both of you. Kelvin. As according to this, he thought it was wise to bring the woman you're cheating on me with and flaunt it to my face. Look, ma'am, I don't want any trouble. I just want my child to grow up in, you know, a conducive environment. If that's okay with you. Kevin, 
before I go in and come out. This prostitute here should not be here. Hey, 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 relax, relax. Come on, I'll be right back. And what was that all about? Look, I'm trying to make things easy for both of us. Okay? You refused to say anything when I told you she's pregnant for me. There you go again, ignoring me. Look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Okay? You simply cannot have a child, and she can. So, let her have the baby. Hudson says we're not going to stay married. Oh, Kevin, I don't have anything to say to you. I don't. I have given you so many chances to correct your mistakes. But no! You keep rubbing into my face that you're teaching on me with someone else. Always, all the time. So yes, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm making something in the kitchen. Let me dish us some. No, no, I'm, I'm not hungry yet. I'm, I'm still here. Oh, I'll eat before I go, okay? All right. How are you I'm doing? I'm fine. Um, I'm pregnant. I'm so sorry I blurted it out like that. I, I just felt the need to tell you, and I, did, I just didn't know where to start from. Wow. What? Yes. I, I don't mean to sound a little insensitive, but ever since... Lydia died. It's been amazing. We've had this very close relationship. He's, he, he's showed me love. He's been more affectionate. He loves me more. He doesn't hit me again. I mean, we've, we've just had a very blissful relationship. I am happy for you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> but now that you guys are amazing together, why not try and convince him to start up a business for you? It's always better to have something you call your own. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I've actually thought about that. I just didn't know how to tender it to him. But don't worry, I'll, of course, I'll, I'll speak to him about it. Everything is one step at a time, right? Enough about me. I, I've been worried about you. How, how have you been coping finding out that your husband impregnated somebody else? <sighs> what hurts me is that he... He admitted to me that he's cheating on me wow. with someone else without any remorse. Like, he said it to my face. He meant it. I'm not bothered about the girl pregnant for him. I'm not at all. I've gotten my credentials from where he hid it. Yes, girl. So. <laughs> I'm waiting on something to clear, and I will show him that I'm not a train. Please, dish the food. <laughs> Immediately. How many pieces of food do you want? Five, ten, twenty, I'm ready for
Fine. Rookie? Yeah? Why didn't you tell me of the 50 million hour you haven't fixed deposit? Who told you about that? Your phone has been ringing non-stop. And I also sent a message from the bank intimating you of the fact that the 50 million hour is ready for use. And also saying that if you want to refix it, you should come over to the bank. Really? Rookie? So you had this much money in your account and you, 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 you didn't tell me knowing fully well that I've been going through challenges in my business. Are you kidding me, Kelvin? Where is the money I loaned you before we got married? The was 10 million. You promised to pay it back, so where is it? Oh, you're so wicked. So wicked. You thought that was the only money I had, huh? So sorry to disappoint you. Did you forget that my late mother was a multi-millionaire? And I've just been here, looking at you, thinking that there will be anything to salvage from this marriage. Oh, should you believe me when I told you that all my mother's money was seized by the bank? I'm not as dumb as it was after all. You have the, the heart of a liar. You have this much money, and yet you get pressuring me to give you money and disturbing me about getting the job? You know, after my mother died, I had this money fixed, hoping that you would be the man that I fell in love with. But no. And I was thinking of starting something together with this money. But all you wanted from me was my money. <laughs> oh no, it's not just about the money. She has houses scattered all over the world. So yes, and I'm only daughter. I stand to inherit it all. So girl, oh, you better start for meeting that 10 million naira. Or else you will dance to the music I'm going to play. And yeah, so I'm coming with the divorce papers, so get ready and hope you are so ready for the rainy days because I am so prepared, so prepared for you. Come on, come on. What are you still doing here? Kevin, you brought her here again. You said I was going to leave here because of her. Really, darling? You're owing me 10 million now. And you're yet to sign my divorce papers. You don't want to fight me. You know that, right? Infidelity is your key, right? Huh? Did you give me a child, Rookie? Did you give me a child? I am the only son of my parents. And they need somebody to carry on the family legacy. Selena here is carrying my child, as you can see. Uh, uh, don't you think the courts will have pity on me? She's carrying my child. And that is something somebody could not do. Kevin. Th this is why you are so stupid, Kevin. Very stupid. I am not the cause of our childlessness. No! I am not! So ask this thing, this thing here, which child she's got. And what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, come on. Remember our trip to USA, UK, and Ghana? Where I begged you to be with you. Because I was down with candid sizes and 
I didn't want to affect you. Remember? Well, I got your semen test today. I knew I was medically okay from this day. I have the results. You are the important one here. <laughs> you are important. And I blame it on myself because I loved you too, too much. I loved you too much. I didn't want you to feel hot. Knowing that you're the only generation is going to end up with you. And what did I get? Insult and neglect. Kelvin signed the divorce papers. I, I would take everything from you. Oh! Everything! I will take everything from you, so get ready! Shameless fool. Dad. Maybe I'm downstairs. So can, someone can't have respect in this house anymore? Huh? Is that what you're telling me? I can't have respect in this house. Why haven't you washed my clothes? Hey. I, I mean, I, I can't possibly bend down to wash. I'm, I'm heavy. And the washing machine is broken. Listen, I'm sorry. Can you just please give it to dry cleaner for this period? Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't sit down. I should give my clothes to the dry cleaners. What are, so what are you doing here? You're here carrying babies inside of you. Females. Let me tell you what you are. You are lazy. My mother told me that when she was pregnant with me, she still attended to my father. Looked after my elder ones and still went to the farm. And you're here telling me to give my clothes to the dry cleaners. Don't believe me. All my siblings have male children. But you are here polluting my house with females. So when they now call and say, uh, come and they are sharing peace of life for people that have sons, I'll be looking. You know what? You have failed as a woman. Philip, what is this about? No, what is this about? I have inside of me what you put there. Is it about the clothes I didn't wash? Or you're actually frustrated about what you put inside me is what I'm giving back to you? I, are you, are you, are you, talking, you have the girls to talk back at me. I'm not talking about I will, I will slap, I will slap. Give me a long time, you monkey! So you are talking back at me now. I, I, you married me now. Kyle, you told me he's changed. Look at your face. What is this? I guess the madness started all over again. And this can't show us that we're having another girl. Can you learn from Lydia's death? You were pregnant for God's sake. I don't want anything to happen to you. You didn't find that I have. Let's start talking about this maltreatment. Your face is bad. And I'm taking you to the hospital. So let's go. Okay. Do, do I have to go? Yes. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> Thank you. 
Are you having pains anywhere? No, just um, just my face. What happened? Um, um, I uh, I can't really stop. Doctor, my husband beat her. What? In this her condition. When we men realize this risk with pregnancies. Anyway, I'll give you medication for your pain, but your blood pressure is high. We need to put you on bed rest. What are you thinking about? Please. Everything will be fine. I'm here for you. Doctor, please, what's your advice? She's almost due for delivery, so I advise we put her on bed rest for her to be able to handle normal delivery. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you short, but... Is, is it okay if I go home and tell my husband? I mean, I, I need to tell him. Also, I need to pick my kids from school. I will make, make that. I will. I still need to tell him. I'll, I'll come back. You have to come back. I will. You will. Okay. She'll come back. Because you, right now is your life and that of your baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor. Thank, Thank you for your time. Let's go. So we pick up at the dispensary, the medication. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 And where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from that I had to go and pick these kids from school? And then you were not taking my calls? I didn't take my phone with me. Why didn't you take your phone? It's called a mobile phone for a reason, isn't it? An emergency. Rookie had to take me to the hospital because of the bruises. I... So when did you... Where are you, Rookie? And why are you lying? I'm not lying. She stopped by the court. She has a case. When did Rookie start practicing? Since she left Kevin. So you're not hanging out with women that leave their husbands? Is that what you're telling? I'm talking, I'm talking to you! Huh? I'm talking to- I will beat you, you will die, you will wake up, I will wake up, I will beat you down again. You're, you're hanging out with women that leave their husbands. Look. Hello? I just came back home. Wait. Calm down, darling. I'm coming right now. I... Mm -mm. No, you, 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 you should have stayed here. You finally... You, you, you had to stand up, stupid woman. No, you'd have waited for me to come and carry you up. Ordinary male child you cannot give me and you are here following Rookie to walk up and down. Tell me, tell me nonsense. Once you go, you will come back. You, 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 you first stay. I will come carry you for day. Oh. Hi, Doctor. Mm -hmm. It's Rookie, you're back. Yeah. Um, okay, she's stable now. So you can see her in the recovery ward. Okay. Yeah. And the baby? Um, I'm sorry. We lost her. <sighs> All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. 
So you have decided to come back. <laughs> so have you given birth to your female female child? You have no heart. You have not seen the woman you beat and let just left to die. Philip, I want a divorce. And if it makes you happy, I, I, I lost the baby due to your selfishness. Wow. So where are you going to go? Huh? And you have no family. Nobody really loves you, so where are you going to go? You shameless man. Because she does not have a family, does not give you the right to treat her like a slave. So I will take her and your children because I just opened a foundation saving grace for women like her. So you will sign those divorce papers and you will so pay for all the years that you married her, beat her. Oh, so help me God. I will press charges against you for all that you want. All right. All right. Bring it on then. Philip, she's not joking. She's not joking at all. I've kept a journal of everything that you have done to me over the years, and I will get my kids to testify against you. So, what's it going to be? Your kids. I didn't, I didn't realize that they meant anything to you. Because, newsflash, you will never What do you want? I want you to sign the divorce papers when they get here and pay me off so I can pick what is left of my life that you have broken into pieces. Caroline, please. Look, you want to make me the laughing stock of my family members. First off, I don't have a male child, and then I can't get to see my my female children. <laughs> Please don't go, Caroline. I gave you chances. Oh. I gave you more than enough chances. And you blew it. I'm no longer a tree. I'm now a woman who knows when it's enough and when to take a walk. And as of now, I've had enough and I'm taking a walk. I don't want it to end like this. I mean, I loved that man. I gave him chances upon chances. I fought, okay? I fought. What did I get in return? All of this. You made it alive. So many women have died. All in the name of giving chances. You and your children will be fine. And 
And you will find a man that will fall in love with you and worship the ground that you walk on. I know it's not going to be easy, but you'll be fine. Best believe that. Thank you. Thank you, Rookie. Honestly, I'm so thankful. I, I could not have gathered the confidence that I did it's to okay. do this without you. Thank you. Okay. My child. The very first of my manhood. I am sorry. I am sorry for my ignorant contributions in your mother's death. I love you. And I promise to take care of you and your siblings. Alright? And in honor of your mother. I will never get married again. I love my baby. I'll spell my children silly. I'll make you the happiest child on earth. Hmm? I love you. Mm.